as you know, I am from Afghanistan. I am a refugee myself. And what happened to my country is absolutely, completely the mess of the centuries. Changed the balance of the world uh, politically completely uh, and security-wise completely. The fact that we left a country in the middle of uh, that, notice. that part of the world free for a Taliban, ISIS, Islamic Brotherhood, Al-Qaeda, you name them. They are all the same. Don't ever be fooled. They are just funded by different countries. This administration, with 1,500 soldiers, everything was fine. It was one, uh, uh, one year, eight months that not uh, uh, American soldiers nose bled. No instance. But never closed by ground base. Don't ever leave hundreds of billions of dollars in, Afga in Afghanistan of weapons and ammunition, helicopters, tanks. Now the Taliban soldiers since last night are wearing American uh, uniforms with the hats, with the night vision, with their uh, guns and their helicopters and tanks. We gave a terrorist you didn't just finance company, it. You gave them weapons. we gave them hundreds of million, billions of dollars of weaponry. It's one of the strongest weaponry in the world now. The number one guy that is the head of the Taliban in Afghanistan was captured and it was in prison and was in the prison for four years. Now he's running the country. Yes, he's sympathetic to us. Yes, he's going to listen to what we yeah. are going to offer. We have zero intelligence in Afghanistan. Zero. So how are they going to know what's going on? There is no press. Afghan press is shut down. They're all terrorized. They call me, please help me, get me out of here. The guy on the news you had, had the Taliban behind him with guns. Yeah. Uh, in the frame that's of the, the TV. Now. Yeah, that's the press. Yeah. We'll kill you if you say the wrong thing. Yeah. Or you say this. Yeah. You read or what else. we tell you to read. I heard the head of NATO saying, we will not work with the United States again like this because we do not believe in the way this happened because it put the entire world in a very dangerous mm -hmm. place. This I don't mean we shouldn't have pulled out of Afghanistan. Yes, of course we should have. The way the pullout happened, the way we left our own people and absolutely hundreds and thousands of Afghans that helped to keep, to protect the United States, that worked with every American, that they took the bullets first for them, uh, how we left them behind. And that scene of the plane and children holding on, because holding on to a wing of a plane was safer than being with the Taliban. Citizens that are still locked up there, they're ho hostage right yes, now. Yes, they're hostages. They're hostages. And we will see slowly what they're going to do to them, especially since we gave them a list of all the people that worked for the government of the United States, all the people that worked for the army, and all the United States citizens to the hand of the terrorists. Who does that? It's a hit list. It's, it's a, hit a hit list. There's nothing yeah. around. In Afghanistan, we had a country that was strategic geographic location to the Persian Gulf, to Indian Ocean, to China, to Russia, to Pakistan, was key. We are an incredible location in the world, number one. Number two is one of the richest country in the world because of the li lithium that you and I will not be able to talk right now because there will be no computers, no phones, no electric cars, Nothing without lithium. We produce 95% of lithium of the world. So uh, uranium, li lithium, all these uh, natural minerals that are in Afghanistan. What about refugees? You said there's like 75,000 that have to have the doors open for them, the poor people hanging off planes? Well, I mean, refugees is something that is so close to my heart, as you know. My entire life, since I was four, 15 years old, I, was, I came here and testified in front of the Senate because of the refugees of Afghanistan, because of the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan that caused, caused a massive refugee movement of 5 million people left Afghanistan. At the time, the population was 17 million. So 5 million was a lot. 
and I've been fighting for that all my life. And then I did a film, which uh, I am you. you came to the premiere, I Am You, that is about three Afghan refugees. And these are the people who are going to pay the highest price. It's always the innocent. For political gains, it's the innocent that pays this price. The border of Iran uh, is not accepting them. They're being tortured over there as they go. The whole city of Tehran was built by Afghan refugees f for nothing. Pakistan is another place that all the aids that go to Afghan refugees, to Pakistan, from e each dollar, one cent goes to the Afghan people. And the border of Pakistan and Iran right now is filled with people that th there is no other way to go. Even if Americans want to leave, they cannot leave via plane anymore. The airport is shut down. So they have to walk that journey to either border of Afghanistan, uh, Pakistan or Iran to go from there to America, to go from there to Germany or any place else in the world that there is space for them. With my work, I've gone to a thousand refugee camps. Not one of them says to me, I wanted to leave. Nobody wants to leave their country, their people, their culture, their family, their schools, their churches, their mosques. Nobody. They want to stay home. They leave because bombs are dropping over their head and they're being beheaded. But there is 5% chance that they may survive these horrible journeys that they go through. Some of them are in refugee camps for seven, six years. They're inside a camp. They are, it's in jail. They can't get out. It's in. not a camp, it's a jail. It's, it's a jail, they can't get out. How are we gonna fight them now? They're saying, oh, they're, we're, we're negotiating with them, just like Trump negotiated with them. Oh, and let 5,000 out. Yeah, yeah. 5,000 prisoners out. Six, uh, Terrorist prisoners, though, different. Exactly. Yeah. Let ISIS, out Taliban, Al Qaeda, prisoners that we Americans and Afghans gave so much of their lives to capture. And this new and improved Taliban, give me a break. Oh, women's rights, and we'll take give care of everybody. Give me a break. Give me a break. They are worse than ever, and now with the best weaponry in the world. They don't have the old Russian. Uh, weaponry that they did before. This is serious stuff. We. This is the beginning of some serious nightmares and 9/11s around the world. This is no joke. It's payback time. It's payback time, but you have no idea what they're capable of doing because of the intelligence they have taken. All these uh, Afghan. Uh, that know about military, know about the weaponry as hostage. They're going to tell them with the gun pointed on their head or a knife in the throat of their wife or ch mm. child to give them talk, the secrets. Yeah. And, and somebody said in the news, like, oh, but the, they, we took the key off the helicopters. They won't be able to use that. Seriously, Someone China really will that. teach them how to do it. Pakistan will teach them how to that do it. Internet Russia will, will teach them how to do, how to do, do it. it. Internet will tell them how to do it. And the Afghans that are taken hostage will tell them, and the Americans that are taken hostage will have to tell them how to do it. So, no, they have an incredible capability. Uh, this is very sad times we're talking about. Yeah.